We've got some tweets to read. Sorry about the late upload. I was playing floor hockey. My team lost 2-1 to one in overtime. It was kind of heartbreaking, but we played very well. So, moral victories. Pats on the back for sure. The Vancouver Canucks have fired Jim Benning. Here is the initial thing we saw from Irfan Gafar two hours ago. Believe the changes in Vancouver will include Jim Benning and John Weisbrod are out as GM and assistant GM. Chris Gear likely steps into an interim role. Travis Green and Nolan Baumgartner are also out on the coaching side. Scott Walker and Bruce Boudreaux are going to be in on the coaching staff. Farhan Lalji confirmed on Twitter, hey, guess what? Benning is indeed out as the Vancouver Canucks GM. Now, we have ourselves some more tweets to read. This is Thomas Trance a little bit after that. The Canucks being light-tipped pending an announcement, but it sounds like Stan Smeal will have an interim GM title in the wake of Jim Benning's dismissal. He's expecting Ryan Johnson to have an elevated role too. Yeah, you remember Ryan Johnson, right? He's the guy who just gets it out. Back in for Alex Burrows, it's up in the air. Scores! Ryan Johnson was a you know, former NHL player. He's the guy who set up Burroughs to score the Dragon Slayer goal. But he also has been the main Utica Comets and Abbotsford Canucks guy too. And he's really helped out in developing prospects. So having him as an interim assistant GM, I'm all good for it. You know, Trance also says that he thinks the Twins will be involved more day-to-day -day as well. We have ourselves what was a video posted by Rick Dollywall on Donnie and Dolly here. Actually, it was just on Twitter, not on Donnie and Dolly, but Rick Dollywell pretty much gives an update as to everything that went down. He said that Jim Benning said earlier on in the week that he does not believe that Travis Green would be fired, which means, or at least to him, it means that this decision to get rid of Benning, to get rid of Green, was from a higher up position. It was the Aquilinis, it was the guys on top saying, okay, sorry, we gotta make a move. We gotta get things moving here. And when it comes to the replacements, Bruce Boudreaux has never had a losing season as a head coach in his 14 seasons. Even both times he was fired by Washington and Minnesota, he had a winning record. He made the playoffs 10 of those 14 seasons. He has been a head coach and... Word from Rick Dollywall is that Bruce Boudreaux will be on for the rest of this season, as well as a full season next year, so a two-year contract. I said this earlier in today's video that was uploaded at 3 p.m., but Francesco Aquilini maybe wanted to pinch the pennies a little bit too much. Hey, we've got Travis Green, but we can't fire him now. If we fire him, we're going to have to be paying this guy, and then we're going to have to hire another guy, and we're going to have to be paying the new guy while we're also paying Travis Green. We don't want to do that, but guess what? Bruce Boudreaux is coming here. It looks like that is going to be the case. And all the stuff that we had seen from Satir Shah earlier in the week about Francesco Aquilini and the idea of him not being able to sell the product and sell Benning as a GM anymore, it appears that everything has gone down the way it has. Rick Dollywell also said that Benning was seen this morning or earlier today cleaning out his office at Rogers Arena and that he likely got informed that he would be relieved of his duties earlier this morning or last night after the calamity that was that Pittsburgh Penguins loss. I said it, didn't I? In the post-game video, yeah, this Penguins loss was the worst game of the season. Not because it was a 4-1 loss, not because, you know, they went out there and they played terribly or that they did this or they did that. They've had worse losses on paper. They've had worse results on paper. But this game and what it meant this was it. Mike Gillis gets fired the night after fire Benning reigns supreme in Rogers Arena against the Anaheim Ducks, and the Vancouver Canucks in 13-14 get eliminated from the playoffs. You also have yourselves the same thing happening. Travis Green, Jim Benning against Pittsburgh, Sidney Crosby seals the deal, fire Benning reigns supreme in Rogers Arena in 2021, and now we have this. Here's what Gary Lawless said on the Vegas broadcast. He also finds it weird that Bruce Boudreaux was hired before a GM. Now, the GM title that we have seen, apparently it's Stan Smeal, you know, Steamer. He's been with this team for a long time. He was a legend in the 80s, and he's a guy who has been working with the team in a scouting development role, too, for the past little bit. Which makes Gary Lawless think here on the Vegas broadcast that the Sedin Twins might be in line for a GM job since they're already there. They must have signed off on the head coach hiring too. And so, with this in mind, taking a look at who is still with this team. Travis Green? Gone. Jim Benning? Gone. John Weisbrod? Gone. Nolan Baumgartner? Gone. This team has gone through a big change. And again, I don't think that the Vancouver Canucks are going to start magically winning games now. 
But when it comes to just getting the fan base's trust back, getting the fan base's trust that you're going to go out there and actually try to make decisions that help the team, this team has done it. Everybody's fired. Now, there is a human element to this as well. Travis Green, hopefully the guy goes out there and gets himself another job soon. You never want to see people lose the jobs that they have worked so hard for in the ways that they do, where an entire city is calling for their heads. But, at the same time, the Vancouver Canucks are a hockey team that millions of people out there are emotionally invested within. And when a very large majority of those people are saying, hey, we need a change, we need different people in charge, we need people who can do the job right... Kind of have to listen to the people you're serving. So, Benning, Weissbrod, Baumgartner, Travis Green, hopefully everybody is able to find themselves a career and successful job path afterwards, but their time in Vancouver is coming to an end. No official announcements from the team yet, but the media has pretty much leaked everything because that's what the media does here. Talk to me in the comments what do you think about this. I hope you enjoyed this for the show, Ashrolls and I and I. I'm going to go out on a walk and try to clear my head from everything that has gone down. My floor hockey game, the firings, all the money I spent on eBay today looking for rare WWE elite action figures. You know, Jeff Hardy, Rob Van Dam, I had to get them. I hope you enjoyed this for the show, Ashrolls and I and I already said that. And bye.